boom means cities need to plan better and have better infrastructure, especially those struggling already to meet the energy needs. Power blackouts are a big problem for many developing countries. This is because the grid, the electricity grid, cannot handle the sheer number of people. Now, some are turning into this smart technology to keep the lights on. Mark New explains. From the thermostat to the traffic lights to the power lines, underneath it all lies a power grid that's quickly becoming outdated. That's why this decade upgrades to the global power structure are estimated to total around $2 trillion. Most cities are dealing with technology that's decades old. Their monitoring is poor if it exists at all. Uh, they're incredibly inefficient. Much less waste means much less uh, energy uh, created, so much, much less pollutants in the air. In Silicon Valley, C3 Energy believes it can play a vital role in fueling what it calls the Internet of Energy. CEO Thomas Siebel says C3 software can help make the days of workers having to drive out to read a meter a thing of the past. When it's with a smart meter, when it's rem remotely machine addressable, we can remotely sense its state in real time. So at any given instant, we can tell, is it on, is it off, and how much energy is passing through this device. So as we do this upgrade from the grid to the smart grid, it's not simply the meters that are becoming remotely machine addressable. It's all the devices in the power infrastructure. C3 software is currently deployed at 20 utilities worldwide, including two of Europe's largest, where Siebel says it's expected to save those companies 600 million euros per year. By processing millions of transactions every second, C3's algorithms can identify where energy theft is happening and even predict where a failure in the system is likely to occur so repair teams can get to it before it breaks down. Siebel estimates that through smart grid technology, there's an opportunity to reduce energy costs by 30% and greenhouse gases by 50%. But still, the country with the most to gain is China. First of all, China is by far the leader on the planet as it relates to the application of smart grid technologies. I think that the only thing that China has to wrestle with is to balance the opportunity to take advantage of, of an existing technology stack like this with the issues that China face regarding indigenous innovation. China would like to, as much as possible, build these systems themselves. That is the balance. Representatives from C3 Energy attended the first Smart City Smart Growth Presidential Trade Mission to China and have been in preliminary talks with Chinese state power operators. Even though a quarter of C3 Energy's business is already in Asia, Siebel says China, compared to any region's power needs, is a completely different story. Mark New, CCTV, Redwood City, California.